Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the smart card cannot perform the requested operation on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully go about resolving it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing, I'm going to have a pastebin file I'm going to have linked in the description of the video. It's going to have all the text that we're going to need. So you will need to head over to this website. It's going to be a pastebin file, very common if you watch my channel, because sometimes the YouTube description field gets a little weird with some of the syntax when you're doing registry files and whatnot. So I find it better just to host it on an external website here. So it's very simple. It's not very much in this text here, as you can see. So what we're going to do is just copy this. Just highlight over it, right click and copy, or control C, highlight over it, and then control C on your keyboard, whatever works best for you. And then just go ahead and minimize out of here. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the star menu, type in CMD, open up the star menu, type in notepad, go ahead and open that up, should be the best result. And then we're going to just go ahead and paste in what we copied. And then you're going to go select the file tab, select save as. You can name this whatever you want for file name. You just want to make sure it says .bat at the end. I'm going to just call this remove driver.bat. Save as type. Click into the drop down. Select all files. And then I'm going to just save it to the desktop. Because we're going to delete this file when we're done. And we're going to select save. Close out of here. Because we're going to delete this file from our desktop once we're done. So now that you've done that, you can close out of here. Now you want to go ahead and right click on this batch file, select run as administrator, select yes, select any key on your keyboard, and that's it, simple as that. And now you would go ahead and restart your computer, and that should be about it. And then you can go ahead and reinstall the driver if you want, otherwise the issue shouldn't be popping up anymore on your screen. So again, pretty straightforward process guys, you can delete this file to off your desktop. So thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.